We added reverse lights that are tied to the reverse lights on the pickup and the bumper. Okay. And then we added a power plug back here for the winch and jumper cables or anything that you need 12 volts for. Okay. Add an auxiliary fuel tank here. Holds 30 gallons and 110 power on both sides of the box and the lights in the box. And the reverse camera up on the fifth on the third tail light. Then we added two extra batteries up under the frame here. Okay. Added elect or heat in all the seats here on all rows of seats. Um, we added a heater, auxiliary heater which is controlled from here. Okay. And then we added an inverter for 110 power back here. USB jacks and 120 volt outlets in all the fillers. This is for the auxiliary heat. Cushion door strikes, make the door set tighter. We added massaging seats in the front, which is in underneath of here. The controls for those to turn them on and turn them off. Um, we added all of the switch panel in for all the auxiliary lighting on the roof. Um, two different CV radios. Um, we have the reverse camera for the fifth wheel here. And we have fans under the middle row of seats to help circulate cabin air. And we have another switch for the auxiliary heat, which is a master switch to turn it on and off. Um, and then we have lighting up underneath of up underneath of the floorboards to light the floorboards up in the front. We added a volt gauge for the voltage um, so that you know what your battery volts are with the inverters. We added control for the inverter up in here. And this is how you turn it on and turn it off. The inverter. Um, oh yes, Husky floor liners. And this one got rubber mats for floor, not carpet. Um, the bully steps. Some 22.5 wheels and tires with airbags for added suspension in the front end and the rear end. Hillstein shocks, brand new in the front and the back. Um, custom bumper, bar light. Added two Arctic leashes in to take care of the vehicle for keeping it warm in the wintertime.
This is the controls for the rear Titan tank. Press that, it cycles fuel from the rear tank to the front tank. We put in glow shift gauges on the A pillar on the driver's side, and an air gauge for the front bags and rear bags. And then we added the controls for the air bags over here. Um, we built a custom luggage rack for the top. With the option for sliding. That out or looking down the side of the truck to a trailer or whatever you need it for. We added a fire extinguisher, moved the jack. Added in custom fuse boxes for all of the lighting, seed heat, um, all of that information is in the owner's manual of what the fuses are for. Uh, we put the visors on the windows, I guess, weather tech visors. We bullet lined the fender flares on the front and on the rear, on the roof, and the box.